Hello. The world, according to NASA, is turning at a speed of 1,670 kilometers an hour. That's faster than the speed of sound. This is what the speed of sound looks like. And we don't feel a thing. NASA also tells us that the world is orbiting the sun at a speed of 107,000 kilometers an hour. That's 88 times the speed of sound. And still, we don't feel a thing. NASA also tells us that the world is chasing the sun through the universe at a whopping 720,000 kilometers an hour. That's a total of 828,006, almost a million kilometers an hour in three directions. And still, we don't feel a thing. This is what seven kilometers an hour looks like. With all those big numbers NASA is giving us, if things don't add up, it's time to subtract. We are not moving. There is a crisis in cosmology. Usually in science, if we're off by a factor of two or a factor of 10, we call that horrible. We say something's wrong with the theory. We're off by a factor of 10. However, in cosmology, we're off by a factor of 10 to the 120. That is one with 120 zeros after it. This is the largest mismatch between theory and experiment in the history of science. The one thing that made me realize something was wrong is I always believed that the moon, the moon landings were fake. And that's what I thought NASA was. I thought NASA was in charge of the moon missions. Mm -hmm. I didn't think they were in charge of all space information. I thought there was all these scientists everywhere and they're, they're figuring out, you know, shit about the universe. I was looking into it and I realized, oh shit, all these pictures of Earth from space, they're all CGI composites. Mm -hmm. And NASA admits it. They go, oh, you know what? We take the images and all the, we take this information strips and then we get an artist to put together. I'm like, wait a minute. You guys aren't even getting real pictures of the fucking Earth from space? I go, I had the picture of Earth Yeah, where's from the space. bootlegs? Yeah. Where's yeah. the fucking space bootlegs? And you get that, you get the earth on your iPhone. That's the default. And I realized, damn, then I started tracing these pictures back, back to NASA. Then I realized, wait a minute, NASA? NASA is controlling all our space information? Mm -hmm. I go, NASA does that? I thought they just did the moon and the space shuttle. Yeah. And I NASA's know, gutter, I, dude. They've yeah. been around for 60 yeah. years. They've been to the moon allegedly four times. No, six times. Six times. Yeah, six times. And then they destroyed all the technology? Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> dude, that's Come the on, worst. Man. If that Come was on, a man. business, you'd be like, this Come is on, a... Come on, man. You, yeah. guys are, you know what? They had to say they destroyed it. What are they going to say? Yeah, what else are they going to say? What are they going to let people... Uh, they destroyed all the video, the raw video footage, the raw audio footage, all the telemetry data which tracked where they were in space. But why would they lie? Governments desire to be and want to maintain themselves as the ultimate authority in your life. Governments want you to rely and only believe in them and their institutions. 
They will only tolerate religious freedom after it's been weakened and watered down. They have done this with their evil trinity, the Big Bang Theory, cosmology and evolution. With gravity, the answer to everything, their false prophet. I would like you to meet two veteran astronauts, veterans of multiple space shuttle and space station missions. Here they are doing a simple live Q&A with school children. Watch closely the body language of both men as they are asked a simple, honest question. Their reaction reveals that they don't know the answer, each waiting on a cue from the other. In space, have you ever looked away from Earth into the black void? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, because yeah, you time. can see yeah, because yeah, you can see the stars. Oh yeah. It, yeah. It, Let's watch that again. In space. Have you ever looked away from Earth into the black void? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, because yeah, you time. can see yeah, because yeah. you can see the stars. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Are they really in zero gravity? Watch the ball. Uh, but one of the things that's interesting about up here, when you see that whole hurricane, you're pretty amazed, and you start taking pictures and all of that of it, but then you forget. Let's watch that again. And what I'd like to know is why do you need a belt in zero gravity? So how do they do it? Watch this. Meet Buzz Aldrin, the second man, they tell us, who walked on the moon. I remember very clearly, I think anybody who was alive at the time does, I remember my parents waking me up and we went down and we watched you guys land on the moon. No, which you didn't. Was, no, you didn't. What? Because uh, uh, there wasn't any television. There wasn't anybody taking a picture. You watched animation. You watched animation. What you have just watched covers only a couple of issues that conflict with the idea of a rotating Earth. There are many, many more issues that have been found. Tides, moon phases, stargazing, seeing the same stars all year round, star distances, the ellipse, the absurd notion of our atmosphere existing next to the total vacuum of space. But in the last two years, YouTube, Google, Wikipedia and Facebook have been proactive in censoring information on this subject, burying videos, and promoting misinformation. They are clearly in cahoots with a government agenda. Your search for more information on this subject will be difficult. NASA and the world are telling you to ignore your senses, but your safest way is to rely on your observable reality. Trust your senses, trust your intuition. Your senses are your connection to everything. Feel secure in knowing that the Earth is the ground floor of the universe and it is not moving. I'd like to finish with a quote from the famous astronomer Edwin Hubble. He said, The idea that the Earth occupies a unique and central place in the universe cannot be disproved, but it is not welcome.